We'll be right back to the new hit documentary on why Karen should be allowed to be hunted for sport after these messages. Ah, <sighs> nothing changes, do they? New year, same commercials. Yeah, but at least 2020 is finally over. Thank goodness. Yeah, now hopefully things can start going back to normal. I'd like that. Me too. Ugh, I highly doubt things will go back to normal anytime soon. Just because it's a new year doesn't mean everything from the past year is just gone. There's still a virus, unfortunately. Yes, but now there's a vaccine for it that a lot of Americans will take because they think that vaccines give you autism. But anyways, what are your all plans for the new year? Oh, you know, new year, same me. Nothing's gonna change about me. Oh man, that's a shame. I was finally hoping you'd get some brains in that skull of yours. Hey, shut the fuck up, Deadpool. I could say the same thing about you finally getting a girlfriend for that sad wee-wee of yours. Ho <laughs> ho, no thank you. Only 2D girls are the ones for me. Woof, no wonder you sent to so many VTubers. Ha, got him! Hey, fuck you, that was uncalled for. So was the brain thing. Fair enough. Oh man, maybe our plans for this new year should be focusing on getting a better house so we don't have to share the same couch anymore. Oh, no way! Irex love this couch! It gives the family an excuse to sit together and talk, which we rarely ever get to do anymore. But we all live under the same roof. How that possible? Because we all have different lives, Spyro. Different things we need to take care of. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Yes, Spyro. Besides, me and Callie's New Year's resolution was to start speeding up our relationship a little bit. Off camera, if you don't mind. Once the fans start demanding it, you will not be able to escape it. Shut up! Yeah, come to think of it, Spidey, how come you don't like your relationship being any bit of public? I mean, Sansa's relationship is public. Tyrant and Monica's relationship is public. What about you? I just don't like the publicity is all. Besides, I still got a secret identity to hide, you know? Oh yeah, that's true. But doesn't everyone and their mother know that your real name is Peter Parker? You'd think that, yeah, but that's actually a pen name. My real name is still a secret. Ooh, I see. Throwing everyone off with a pen name. I got you. That's actually really smart, but it can backfire really fast. Uh, what do you mean, Yuri? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, the creator of Alice in Wonderland used a pen name, and no one could recognize him when he used his real name on other forms of literature. It ended up dooming him to only being a one-time success. Dang, that sucks. Back on topic a little bit. Well, bro, we've heard the, your reason why. Callie, what about you? <laughs> Funny thing is, I don't really have a reason. I tried convincing him that it's okay for it to make a relationship a bit more public, but he won't listen to me. And I never will. Well, privacy can be a good thing, and I applaud you for hiding it as much as you have. Anyways... While Spidey brushed on the topic, what's everyone's New Year's resolutions? My New Year's resolution is to hopefully be a better father for Elizabeth, and a better husband for Samantha here. It's been a steady process, but I think I'm doing well. What do you mean, Springtrap? You've already been a better father for a couple of years now. I just feel like I could be better is all. After the actions I've done, my redemption has only just begun. I'm honestly thankful that you guys even trust me at all. Because even though you all trust me, I'm still a murderer, you know? Yeah, but we don't care about that! Yeah, Springy Boy, you promised to put all your bad actions behind you, and you've been doing a really good job at that, man. Spyro's right, Springtrap. Why wouldn't we trust you? Yeah, you've shown your good side a lot more to us. <sighs> you guys, come on. Yeah, before Sp Springtrap starts blushing redder than a tomato, I have an announcement to make. My New Year's resolution as the Great Papyrus is to restart the police force. It unfortunately dispersed after the Ridley attacks about a year ago, so I plan to make a new police force with me as the captain. <laughs> Sounds like a certain Skeleton Cop series might be getting a reboot sometime this year, wink. Oh, uh, as much as I want to be happy for you, given the current situation with cops and all that, I'm not sure that's a good idea, man. Yeah, cops are starting to get a really bad stereotype nowadays. Even though we know you won't, we just don't want you to fall into that stereotype too. Don't worry, everyone. I've thought ahead of that, which is why I've come up with this new slogan, The Department of Nyahaha, Fair and Equal Justice for All. The Department of Nyahaha. Should have seen that coming. Woof, it wouldn't be Papyrus if it wasn't named after his catchphrase. Well, we wish you the best of luck with that, Papyrus. Sans, will you be joining him? 
Eh, someone's gotta make sure my little bro doesn't get hurt in the line of duty. Besides, Jaxie thinks it would be cool. Of course she would have an influence on your opinion. When does she not? <laughs> in bed. hey yo! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Anyways, guys, moving on from that really quick. My New Year's resolution is to make sure my new cooking series doesn't die. It's done really good, and I want it to continue. Hmm, nice one. My New Year's resolution is to be a better person. At least for this little one here. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to learn how to write. My New Year's resolution is to keep a strong and healthy relationship with Tyrant. What about you, sweetie? Uh, get better at Smash and start winning more locals. Maybe start streaming it if I could get a good computer. That sounds fun. Eh, I guess my New Year's resolution would be to start, uh, I don't know, maybe writing some Japanese poetry or something. I've always been fascinated by that stuff. I even wear a kimono on occasion. That sounds lovely, Marie. We would be happy to teach you. Yeah, we're always open to another member of our literature club. Yeah, hop on in. Eh, I'm not exactly ready to go all in on it yet, but, uh, I'll definitely think about... Hmm? Anyone hear that? Oh, it sounds like something rapidly approaching our general direction! Very fast! But wait a minute, ain't this the exact same sound we heard when... Oh shit! Skip it up! Oh! Ow! Ugh. Oh, I did not expect to crash that hard! Ugh. Uh, uh, oh! You're all here! What the? Lord Requeza, what are you doing here? Woof! Yeah, what brings you here? Uh, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Uh, uh, I'm not here to destroy you, I swear. Well, if you're not here to destroy us, what else could you possibly be here for? Yeah, whenever you're here, it's always, yeah, we're gonna destroy you, yeah, and then we kick your ass and then you run away. Okay, first off, rude, I do not sound like that, and two, I need your help with something. You need our help. I don't trust him, sweetie. Neither do I. Oh, guys, I'm serious. I really need your help on this. Look, truce. There. We, we have a truce now. I won't hurt you, promise. You can't just say truce and then suddenly we're buddies, you know. Oh, guys, I'm serious. I'm really not here to hurt you. I really need your help with something. What do I need to prove to make you think that I'm not going to hurt you or anything? I'll do anything. Anything, huh? Hmm. I got something. You have to admit that you'll never beat us and that we're better than you. Yeah, only then will we trust you. What? Screw that. I'd rather be sad and lonely forever. Screw that. I'm out of here. Wait. What? Sad and lonely? What do you mean? What, did you like get dumped on a blind date or something? Oh, no, it's not that. It's Ridley. What about him? Is he sick? Is he dying? What? No! He's immune to all of Earth's diseases. He can't be killed by that shit. <sighs> but it's a different kind of lonely. Well then what is it then, Mr. Ridley, sir? <sighs> I think he's found a new best friend. Wait, that's it? What? what do you mean, that's it? This is a very serious situation! Well, to be fair, you haven't exactly done a good job of explaining why it's serious. Or why we should even listen to you for that matter. <sighs> alright, alright, I'll explain everything. <sighs> Where do I begin? Uh, I suppose it all started about a week or so ago, when I went into Ridley's room to ask him a question. <sighs> Ridley, you're never gonna believe this. <sighs> Someone's donating a bunch of candy to an orphanage. You wanna go steal a bunch of candy from some babies? Sorry, Lord of Crazy. I can't right now. I'm a bit busy at the moment. What do you mean you're busy? What's going on, man? Well, have a look. We're trying to solve this equation. It's a formula. And uh, we've been trying to figure it out for a few hours now. And we've come so damn close. But we're, we've messed up somewhere. We're trying to figure out where. Oh, uh, okay. Well, who's we? Uh, oh, AK Rule. Hello, Lord Requeza, and you heard Ridley right. This is indeed a formula, and it's not just any formula. This is a formula uh, testing the durability of Ridley scales. We've recently found that his armor, in fact, can be cracked by an antimatter cannon, and we are trying to figure out what kind of equation we need to come up with. A formula, if you will, to make an elixir which will enhance the durability of Ridley scales to where that won't happen. We've come so damn close. I wrote all the stuff in green, by the way. Look at it, it's very pretty. Uh, uh-huh, yeah, sure. That, uh, that doesn't seem too complicated. 
Do you want me to help? Maybe it's four or something? Don't be ridiculous, Lord of Quasar. It's not just one singular number. It's a string of numbers off of a decimal. And we're trying to figure out what exactly it is. Yes, and no offense, uh, Lord of Quasar, sir. But I fear you don't have the uh, brain capacity to help us out with this. Uh, no need to be nice to him, K. Rule. It's way too out of his league. It's too hard for him, trust me. The poor man doesn't even know what 3 plus 3 is. You'd honestly think he'd be able to figure this out? Uh, that's not true, it's 33! Even I know my math! Uh, don't try to correct him. He would literally fight you to the death for stuff like that. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, if you could kindly move along, Lord Equaza, we're really close to cracking this code, so uh, just uh, run along and Ridley will hang up with you later, promise. Highly unlikely, K-Rule. I have stuff to do later, too. Oh? Like what? Don't you remember? We made plans to go to the local science fair and murder the smartest person there as asserting dominance. Oh, right! Well, that was more your thing. I just agreed to come along because I'd like to watch something like that. Well, it's still our plans, isn't it? Yes, then my thoughts exactly. All right. Sorry, Lord Requaza. Maybe some other time. Oh, uh, okay. Guess I'll go then. Maybe tomorrow, yeah. Well, that doesn't seem too awful bad. Yeah, it, it just seems like Ridley was really busy that day, that's all. Yeah, foe, it's not that big of a deal. Everyone's got their busy days, man. You didn't let me finish. Like I said in the flashback, I try again tomorrow. And I did, and lo and behold... <laughs> Ridley, you are never gonna believe this, but I just learned how to fire lasers from my eyes, you wanna see? Uh, not now, Lord Equaza. I'm incredulously busy. All right, K-Rule, set the gauge for 100x! Roger that, Ridley! 100x gravity coming right up! Three, two, one, go. Yeah, come on, keep flying. Beat gravity! Gravity's no match for your brain, Ridley, come on! Let's go! Uh, the heck you guys doing? Oh, well you see, Lord Equaza, we have invented a gravity amplifier machine that will allow Ridley to enhance his flight durability and his speed. Uh, alright. Well, well, what's all that do? Oh, well you see, a gravity amplifier machine basically makes gravity a lot tougher and harder to get off the ground. Yes, and right now, I'm working at approximately 100x Earth's gravity, and it's really starting to strain my wings. Come on, Ridley, 30 more seconds, come on, you can do this! Uh, what does 100x stand for? Oh, that's easy, it's a standing number. You see, 1x Earth's gravity means just Earth's gravity. 2x Earth's gravity means Earth's gravity squared. So 100x is really painful to go through. Oh, well, Ridley seems to be taking it like a champ. Must not be that bad. It's a lot harder than you think it is. Huh. While in this chamber, I need to keep my form in peak physical condition. Otherwise, my bones could crumble like paper. Uh, okay, I think that was 30 seconds. Can't well turn the damn thing off! Ooh, let me do it. I want to try. Uh, if I made Lord Requaza, that's not a very good idea. Only I can come on. It's, it's not that hard. I saw you turn it to the right. All you have to do is turn it to the left. No, that's all that works! Shut <laughs> Gravity weaker. <sighs> oh, uh, I, I didn't know that. Oh, I'm sorry, Ridley. Uh, uh, no harm done. I'm a. F ah! Uh, 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 my, my wing! Uh, oh crap! Ridley, are you hurt? Uh, don't worry, Ridley. Help is on the way. Ah! Blasting machine! Uh, Ridley. Oh my god, you broke your wing! Yes, I see that, you idiots! Ugh. Is it repairable? I mean, it might be if you give it some time. Here, let me put the bones back into place. Ah, oh, this is gonna hurt so much. Uh, uh, here, Ridley, let me come up too! Ugh, get away from me! Uh, but, but Ridley, I just wanna help! Uh, you've helped enough! Ugh. Ah, that really hurts, Cable! I'm sorry, I'm doing my best here! Ah. Uh, just leave and uh, maybe we'll talk later. Just get out of my sight. Uh, okay, uh, I'll talk to you later then. Whew. 
So yeah, I left him alone after that. And get this, he never talked to me later after that. Can you believe that? To be fair, Lord Rayquaza, he sounded really mad at you. I think he was only saying that so you would leave him alone. Yeah, it seems to me like Ridley just wanted you out of his non-existent hair. Yeah, you did break his wing after all. Oh, come on, guys! It's not my fault I didn't know how the machine worked! Uh, actually, it, it is. Yes, you should have let the geniuses handle the machine that they made! Oh, fair enough, I guess. But that's not the worst thing that happened. You broke his wing. What the hell could be worse than that? Uh, well, I came back a couple days later, and they were doing something, and I might have accidentally destroyed his lab. Uh, might have accidentally what? Yeah, if all we didn't understand a word you just said. Uh, I said I might have accidentally destroyed his lab. Yo, Lord Equaza, unclench the teeth, buddy. We can't understand what you're saying. Uh, I said I accidentally destroyed his lab! There, are you happy? Oh, you what? How did you do that? Oh, it was an accident, okay? I didn't know any better. Uh, well, it was an accident. That doesn't explain, you know, what you actually did. Yeah, how the hell did you destroy his lab? <sighs> Look, when I explain it, it'll make a lot more sense. So basically, just yesterday, I went down to ask Ridley something, and he was with K. Rule again, and... <sighs> Ridley, I know you don't want to see me right now, but listen, so I have something really important to tell you. <sighs> Lord Equaza, even though I am still very mad at you for what happened a couple days ago, I will let the past be the past just this once. After all, me and K. Rool are on the brink of our greatest discovery yet. Indeed. Oh, I can already taste the riches. Indeed. Salivate them, friend. <sighs> really? You're busy again? Come on, man, this is really important to me! And my research is important to me, Lord Urquaza. Now please, this isn't something that'll just benefit me this time. This will benefit all of us. Indeed! It'll benefit all of us, huh? I guess that's a little different. Well, what you guys doing then? Ah, I see you've taken interest. K. Rool, explain away. I have to go get our safety equipment. Of course, Ridley. Now! Lord Urquaza, you're going to love this. We recently seen a rumor on the internet that it actually rains diamonds on Venus. And we are trying to replicate the same chemical reaction needed to make that happen. Ah, there we go. The oxygen cleaner is on. We're good to go, K. Rule. Huh? Oxygen cleaner? Raining diamonds on Venus? What the heck's going on? Eh, uh, well you see, Lord Equaza, sir, we have taken two of the most acidic elements on the periodic table we could find here on Earth. We're about to mix them together to hopefully get the same chemical reaction needed to make a diamond, just like it does on Venus whenever it rains. But what does acid have to do with diamonds? Well, you see, Lord Urquaza, we theorize that it rains diamonds on Venus for two reasons. One, the acidic components in the oxygen on Venus. And two, the increase in Venus's gravity. Venus's gravity is much stronger than that of Earth's, so we theorize that combining those elements will make diamonds. But aren't diamonds usually found in the Earth? How's that possible? Well, they're not exactly like the diamonds found here on Earth. They have different elemental compounds, but they yield the same result. So we're trying to replicate that here. <sighs> Alright, Ridley! Give me the word and I'll mix them together! Alright, I'm giving you the go. Just make sure to mix them slowly. If we mix them together too fast, we could accidentally blow up this entire place. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, steady hand. Did it work? Well, judging from the fact that we didn't explode and that the oxygen cleaner has turned off, I say it's a huge success. Uh, I'm nervous though. Nothing's happened yet. The mixer takes time. Just give it a few seconds. I know that really. I'm just, I'm just nervous. What if it's a delayed reaction? We actually end up do exploding. What if? Uh, K. Rool, what's happening in the car? Hmm? <gasps> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It actually worked! Uh, what actually worked? What happened? <laughs> Come to Papa, you beautiful little red diamond! <laughs> yes! 
Yes, yes, we are rich! <laughs> Just look at it. Look at its sparkle and its red beauty. <laughs> we can make so many of these. We don't have to have to worry about money again. <laughs> but hold on, though. I thought we still had the bank teller's wallet. Aren't we already rich? Oh, come on, Lord Aquaza. You can never have too much money. And now we'll be the richest people in the universe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. It is pretty cool, though. Can we do it again? Yeah, you're actually taking an interest in our work. Yeah, we'll do it right away. I'm gonna go get more liquid hydrofluoric acid. Be right back. <laughs> Aren't you just the most beautiful little diamond? Yes, you are. Who's a good little diamond? Uh, I have to ask, though. Why is it red? Oh, uh, well, we can't really know for certain. What we think it has to do with a certain chemical reaction when forming into a solid. Uh, okay then, seems simple enough. I'm back! Yeah, and I've brought more liquid hydrofluoric acid. Let's do this. Be careful with it, Cable. It's our last batch. Roger, time to make another diamond. Wait, 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 wait! What is it? Can I do it? Please! I want to be a genius like you guys too! Uh, I don't really think that's a good idea, Lord Equator, especially after what happened the last time you tried to help. Yes, Lord Aquaza, it's a bit too far out of your league. Leave it to the professionals, okay? Oh, come on, Redley, please! You've been hanging out with K. Roll so much! I want to hang out with you! This... I feel like this is the only way I can! Since you're always so busy! Come on! Just one time! I promise I won't screw it up! Promise! <sighs> mm, fine. But listen to my instructions carefully. Oh, yes, all right, let's make some diamonds. Oh, well, all right, if Ridley says so, just be careful. I'll be careful, don't worry about it. Okay, well, I gotta pick this up, right? Yes, you pick that up, okay. Then you gotta pour it into the into the glass of hydrofluoric acid, right? Yes. But do it very carefully. Yes, don't even count to one on your fingers before you pull that cup back up, okay? All right, I got it. Uh, uh, it's gonna drip out. Oh, I see it. Do it, Tony. Is it going to explode? Did I do it wrong? If it was going to explode, it already it would have. You did it right. Good job, Lord Equesa. Never should have doubted you. Yes, indeed. Perhaps we should uh, start teaching you more about all of this. You could be a genius like us. Uh, hold on. Hmm. Oh, uh, Ridley, if I may. You seem to have added a lot more acid to the cup this time. We'll need a higher dosage. <sighs> all right. Think you can handle that, Lord Equesa. Of course I can, I got this! It's time to be a heckin' genius! Here we go. You said more, right? Yes, but only a little bit. Alright, more, here we go! Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 man. I think that was a little too... <gasps> oh, uh, thank you, Golden Gut. Saving my skin once a... <gasps> oh, blast it all. Uh, uh, Ah, my wing. It's still okay. <gasps> my... My lab. My... My studies! R Ridley! Uh, are you okay? Am I... Okay? Uh -oh. All my work, while stranded on this planet, was in... That lab. R Ridley, I, I, I'm so sorry, dude. No, Lord Equaza, I'm sorry for thinking your single brain cell mine could comprehend what was at risk. R Ridley, c c calm down. It was just an accident. Accident. That accident cost me months of work. That is not an excuse. We had finally achieved a great scientific breakthrough. We could have lived the rest of our lives in luxury and villainy! But no. I just had to trust him. He could do it! What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I'm sorry, I... I don't want to hear it! Uh, get out of my sight! I do not want to see your pathetic, simple-minded, one brain cell having ass around here for the rest of the week! Do you understand me? 
Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just go. <sighs> K. Roll, get the fire extinguishers. Let's see if we can salvage anything. I, yes, Ridley. Right away. So, there you have it. That's, that's what happened. Boy, you actually blew up his lab. I thought you was joking. It's no wonder you think he's found a new best friend. I wouldn't want to be friends with your ass if that happened to me. Yeah, Lord Urquiza, you you practically ruined his life. I couldn't understand if he wouldn't want to be friends with you anymore. But, but I still want to be friends with him. We're supposed to be brawl boss buddies forever. And I think I ruined it. Fo, well, I think you have to face the facts, man. Yeah, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he's right, you know. Yeah, think about it. K rules a fellow genius, shares a lot of the same interests as him. And what about you? Well, well, I'm evil just like him. So is K rule, my dude. I, I'm a dragon just like him. Yeah, but Ridley's not from Earth. He's from somewhere else. I, I, uh, I. Yeah, it looks like you just have to face the facts, Lord Rayquaza. It looks to me like your friendship with Ridley is done so. Yes, Lord Urquiza. If if I were you, I'd just consider moving on. But come on, you guys! I came to you guys because I want you to help me. I want you to help me get smarter so I can prove to Ridley I can still be a good friend. Lord Urquiza, the smart thing to do here would be to acknowledge your mistakes and never do it again. Yeah. And if that means no longer being friends with Ridley and moving on, then that's what you have to do. Yeah. But... but I... Uh, you're right. I guess it is over between me and Ridley. Thanks for nothing, spider losers and your dumb friends! Dang, foe. That's the first time I've ever seen Lord Urquiza genuinely sad. I know! That's the side of him we never get to see! Who knows? Maybe in time, they'll be able to patch things up and be friends again. Friendships last forever, Daxter! Not all of them, kid. <sighs> I guess only time will tell. Do you think everything's gonna be okay between them, sweetie? I have a sneaking suspicion that they'll be just fine. We just gotta wait and see. Meanwhile, back at the lair. <sighs> hey, Ridley. You got a moment? Uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. Ah, greetings, Lord Rayquaza. I was about to chow down on some lovely Chris Christmas cookies left over from the holidays. Would you care to join me? <sighs> no thanks, Ridley. There's something I really need to talk to you about. Hmm, why so glum, chum? What's going on? Well, I've done a bit of thinking, and after recent events that have happened, and seeing how much you get along with K. Rule, uh, I've come to the decision that maybe it's best that we just don't be friends anymore. What? Why have a fall? Well, it's because I blew up your lab, and I've been messing up all your recent experiments and stuff. Plus, I've seen how much you get along with K. Rule. He's a fellow genius, he's evil like you, you two share a lot in common, and I'm a nobody. Lord Rayquaza, where did it ever come up that I didn't want to be your friend anymore? Because of all the stuff I've done! You were really mad at me yesterday when I blew up your lab! Aren't you still mad at me? Admittedly, yes, a tiny bit, but I've calmed down for the most part. Why would I not want to be your friend? We are Brawl Boss Buddies. Always have and always will be. K. Rule can't change that. But you two seem to be having so much fun together. I mean, sure, K. Rule's fun and all, and yes, we have become good friends, but we're not best friends. We've only known each other for a few weeks. You and me have known each other for years. K. Rule can't just take your place. But, but you said I'm just a simple-minded... One brain cell have an ass. Oh, come off it, Lord Urquaza. I throw that insult around a lot. You know that. I always say it to Y, to X, Mega Lucario, the heroes, anyone, really. Anyone that peeves me off or rubs me the wrong way. You know that. But 
To me, it... To you, it should be no different. You know I always throw it around when I'm angry. Plus, you know how rageful I can become if I'm angered a lot. You know that. Remember what happened last year? Ugh. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> Ready, dude? You bet I am. Three, two, one. Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination! And when he's gone... <laughs> what the hell? What is the meaning of this? Hey, you got pranked. You got pranked, Barney. Yeah, looks like singing your opening summoned you. What up, Barney? Barney, 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 Barney! <laughs> Barney, Barney, Barney! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Call me Barney! Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, we won't, we won't. Good! If I ever hear you throw that name around to me again, I swear to God, your innards will become your outers! Okay, okay, we won't do it anymore, we promise! Do you swear on your life? We swear, we swear! You knew how much I hate being called Barney. Yeah, you really snapped on him that day. So you see, I could tend to say some really nasty stuff whenever I lose my temper. With you, it was no different. Be lucky I didn't threaten to kill you. Otherwise, I might have done something I would have truly regretted. You, you would have regretted killing me? Of course. We're best friends, and we always have been. Why, why would you think otherwise? You really mean it? Even though I, I blew up your lab, and I broke your wing, and Carol's so much better in comparison to me, we're still best friends? Lord Requesa, I wouldn't care if you were the biggest jerk in the universe. You were the first person to ever approach me, that I didn't end up despising, with curiosity instead of cowardice. And you earned my respect for that. If you hadn't approached me on that day in 2009, we would have never have become friends in the first place. And for that, I have to thank you. Well, Ridley, I... I will always value our friendship, Lord Urquaza, no matter what bumps in the road may come with it. Do you feel the same way? I... I do. I always have, big guy. Good. Now, would you care for the cookie? <laughs> Hell yeah, brawl boss buddy. What kind we got in here? Well, we've got chocolate chip, we've got sugar, we've got those strange nut-covered cookies with the cherry in the middle. Hmm. Ooh, I love the cherry ones. Oh, um, before we dig in, though, I must ask, who ever told you to not be friends with me anymore? Well, I went to the Spidey Brothers and their friends for advice, and they told me from what had happened it was best if I just moved on. Well, we can't just have them trying to go end our friendship, can we? What are, what are you saying? What I'm saying is before we dig into these scrumptious sugary delights, how about we go pay them a little visit? <laughs> I love the way you think! Let's go, friend! Up and away! <sighs> Meanwhile, back at the house. And with that, we are back to the new hit documentary on why the word simp should be unbanned from Twitch. Ah, uh, yay! Back to the show! Happy toast, happy toast, happy toast! Oh, about time, man! <sighs> as much as I like watching these documentaries, they sure are getting weird, huh? Yeah, you said it. Hmm? What? What's that noise? I was right. Skippy the button, da da! <laughs> well, well, well! Surprise, motherfuckers! Well, shit! They're friends again, real fast! We were never not friends! Europe, and for trying to ruin our friendship, we're gonna ruin your lives! Prepare to die, heroes! <laughs> ah, shit! Here we go again! Hello, everyone! Welcome to the art show of the first video of 2021! We really hope you enjoyed this video. Another video focusing on the villains. We know how much you love them. Although, all videos won't be about the villains, obviously. Let me know how much you love Ridley and K. Rowan Requaze's antics, so here's one for all of you. 
If you did like this video and you want to subscribe, the subscribe button's going to appear right here in this corner, and some video recommendations are going to appear right here. Oh, but don't click after the video after the outro is over. There's something after the outro that Tyrant really wants you to see. It's a sneak peek to something big happening later this year. Um, with that being said, thank you for watching, everyone. Monica loves you. Mm -hmm. Oh, come here, Tyrant. Mm -hmm. I love you, sweetie. Goodbye, everyone, and stay tuned for the sneak peek. <clears throat> so, the stream has given me life once again. Though for what reasoning, I am unaware. He is already gone. What other reasoning could the stream have for resurrecting my dangerous existence? Perhaps, if I look around, I'll find out myself.